I want to introduce you all to a tool that can replace your SEO agency for $29 a month. Let's get into it. So I'm very used to making these kind of videos about other people's AI tools. However, this actual video is about my AI tool, Harbor SEO. Harbor SEO is no longer just a content generator. We are now connecting Harbor to as many APIs that we find useful as possible and connecting AI with old systems. That's kind of what we're doing at the moment, including Google Ads Keyword Planner, search operators, sitemaps, all those things that we've been using for years and years. We're connecting them to AI and showing the real power of these LLMs. I wanna show you how you can actually take a business and work on it and become your own SEO agency, paying us $29 a month, and then you can charge whatever you want to clients. I'm gonna give you an example here, PMargo.com. Now, one thing is kind of certain, you need your client to have some kind of base, unless you're a web design agency, but we're talking SEO agencies in this video, we're not talking web design agencies. So you will need some kind of base, your client will need products, um, they won't necessarily need collections, they might need services, just depends what they're selling. I'm gonna be using Piermargo as an example in this video, and I'm gonna show you how Harbor has taken over most of the marketing for this company. So we'll go to their blog here and we'll go to this article, Stylish Autumn Fashion for Busy Mums, Comfort Meets Sheep. The first thing I wanna show you is that if we copy this content, and this is something that a lot of people care about, and if you're running an agency, most likely your clients are gonna be using a tool like GPT-0 to see if the content is AI generated. Now, quick disclaimer here, I don't care, Google doesn't care, it's the client that cares, okay? So you might say, oh, but you've always said AI generated content doesn't matter. But if your client has a tool like GPT-0 and can scan to see if it's AI or not, and it's saying it's 100% AI, most likely the client's not gonna be as satisfied as they are going to be if it says that it's 75% human and that their classification for this after the update that they recently did uh, says human. So they've actually got a lot more, if, if I do a deep scan as well, it'll say the same thing. They've, they've actually increased the intelligence level of this. It does work pretty well. Um, it's really, really hard to pass this with one prompt. Uh, the reason Harbor can do it is that Harbor is a series of prompts. It's, it uses a chain of thought prompting where the output of one prompt affects the input of the next prompt and so on and so on and so on. So that's how we do it. Um, but yeah, to do this with just one prompt is extremely difficult. So that's one thing that Harbor adds that maybe other um, content generators don't add. But this is just the content side of things, okay? So another example of something that we do that no one else is doing is we have infographics as well. This is not being done by anybody else. And then we also have these just data visualizations as well. In this case, this is a... Um, Autumn Capsule Wardrobe Essentials, which by the way is a really, really good keyword um, from Google, which has been identified by the reverse engineering factor of Harbor. So there's a lot that goes into this. Capsule Wardrobe has 100,000 searches a month and Harbor has identified Capsule Wardrobe as a topic that will help increase the topical authority of this blog post by hitting different points and different questions and et cetera, et cetera. So I would expect this blog to do pretty well, to be honest with you. Now, I'm just curious to see if it's actually already been indexed because if it has that quickly, this was released, I think yesterday, 11th of, oh, okay, no, it was released today. So I doubt it's gonna be indexed. Yeah, it's not been indexed yet. It was released today, so that's pretty normal. But I'd be very, very curious to see how this ranks. So this is just the content side of things that everybody already knows. There are loads of content generators, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so, I mean, I don't want to say there's nothing special here because in my opinion, there's a lot of special things here that perhaps go under the radar a little bit. Um, but, you know, content generation, you can kind of make a content generator. It's not that difficult. Now, something else that we're doing is we have a keyword research tool, which is a context aware AI driven keyword tool. It is not data driven. It's not finding any data at the moment anyway. We, we're gonna add data later, but at the moment, we're just gonna stick with um, what we call logical keyword suggestions. 
So the first one here, I don't like the first one. AI has an obsession with sustain sustainability, but luckily we're giving 200 keywords a month. So if you don't like the first one, it doesn't really matter. Now, second one, seasonal blazer guide, choosing the perfect fabric for every weather. That's a very, 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 very good keyword, okay? Women will be searching that constantly. Believe me, this is a women's wear website. That will be a hugely popular search term, okay? What blazer to wear in what weather? Now you can't just put this in a keyword tool like Ahrefs and take this entire keyword and expect it to give results. But you would search something like blazer guide or seasonal uh, season blazer or something like that as a seed keyword. And that's how you would start to see the amount of keywords that are associated with it. So just so you know that I'm not talking crap, let's just do this live. So we'll go to ads.google.com. We will eventually be adding this to Harbor. It's just kind of expensive to um, to run something that connects with the Google Ads API. But yeah, we'll, we'll see about doing this in the future. So we go to tools here and planning, keyword planner, discover new keywords. And this takes, again, it takes the guesswork out of things. You still have to work, but it takes the guesswork out of it. And in terms of the keyword research as well, it just does it to a very, very high standard. So we'll do blazer fabric. I'm just gonna have some tea, guys. Jesus, that was a lot of tea. We have all of these related keywords. What we can do, so we'll add women's blazer fabric. The cool thing about the Google Ads uh, Keyword Planner is that it's semantics. So it, it, I guess it uses AI, I don't know how it works exactly, but we can start to see all of the different associated keywords, right? Scroll up a bit, women blazers fabric 100, women's black uh, wool blazer, up to 10,000 searches, satin blazers, gray wool blazers, wool bla women's blazer. You can see there's a hell of a lot of interest over women's blazers. So this is how it works because then what we're gonna do in the article is, so let's say for example, this business sells jersey, a one jersey knit blazer, Harbor will pick that up, put it into the article and then you can potentially rank for that keyword. That's how it works, okay? So we're trying to actually get keywords like this even though the overall keyword is this okay so this is actually a title suggestion you can see that we've changed it from keyword suggestion so let's just press next a few times i don't really like sustainable options it always has this sustainable stuff top five must have pieces from our autumn winter 2024 limited edition i do kind of like that as a sometimes a keyword like that will randomly just pop off and get like a hundred clicks a day for a few weeks so I, I do think it's worth writing something like that, even though there's not necessarily a keyword in there, because you never really know what's gonna rank. Styling guide, dressing up your denim for special occasions. Perfect, exactly. So let me show you another way that you can look at whether an article like this would actually do well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find something like dressing up your denim. Styling denim for women, let's say. Maybe something like this. And then what you can do is you can search that here and see how many keywords this actually has. So this has 414 keywords, 384 traffic. So I mean, that's a pretty good article. It's all United States traffic as well. So this is another way to see whether a keyword like a page that you make in Harbor would actually be worth making. Now you can do that for free, by the way. You can do Ahrefs traffic checker. If you search that on Google, select the first one and then check traffic here. Then you can actually do that completely for free without paying for Ahrefs. So you can see it gives you exactly the same thing, 351 organic traffic. There, yeah, here we go, jean outfits for women, jean outfit. These are the real keywords that we're actually trying to get, okay? Even though this doesn't necessarily look like that's what you're trying to get. It's just the way the semantic SEO actually works and like logical SEO. So yeah, this is kind of the keyword tool. This is what we've been working on. Um, I'm really, really happy with the results here. And then the final one, the final for now anyway, part of this. And when I say for now, we have some other really, really insane ideas um, coming eventually. Uh, so we've got a page generator, something that we're calling the blog reforger that will take some content and make different content based on that content, based on that style of writing. So based on what's ranking for you or whatever it might be. We have other things um, that I probably won't talk about on the channel until they're being released because they're just such amazing ideas. With the link builder, there, we did just release a video on this. The way this works is that um, 
it's taking the guesswork out of it, okay? <clears throat> Again, this is what we're trying to do. Instead of making a tool like Ahrefs where it, admittedly, Ahrefs is a very, very good tool, but you also need, you, you almost need a degree in Ahrefs to be able to use Ahrefs. It's not that simple. You need to learn this stuff and you need to know where to look. But instead of that, what we're doing is we're just giving you the end result. That's kind of what we're trying to do anyway. So you can see that this would be a good backlink because it has 18,000 traffic, 21 DR. If you open the right for us, you'll see that there is a legitimate link where they are asking, you can ask for a guest post from these people. You can literally see it's all here. So it's a legitimate backlink opportunity. All you have to do is follow these instructions here send whatever they want you to send, and then receive a backlink. It's literally that easy. But we haven't had to go through our competitors, find broken links, check if it's a good link, blah, blah, blah. No, look, the links are all just good out of the, out of, out of the box. Just by pressing generate, the, links, the link ideas are all good. All you have to do is create the backlink by you know, going on their page, finding out what they are, uh, what, you know, what you can write for, what you can write about, et cetera, et cetera. And you can start to build backlinks to your business without paying an agency to do so. Now, if you do want something completely out of your hands where you don't have to do anything, at the bottom of the link builder, there is an, an option to build a bespoke link building strategy that you can configure. We've had great success building backlinks for people, mainly focusing on high quality guest posts, but also what we're doing at the same time is we're diversifying the link building portfolio. Link building is like stock uh, trading or you know having stock or just any kind of investment. It's not good to put everything in one basket and Google can tell very, very easily that you're gaming the system if all you do is add guest posts, which is why we also add all of these other link types as well. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. We're trying to effectively create our agency inside AI, but yeah, it's very, very complicated and very, very difficult, but please feel free to check out Harbor. We have the yearly option at the top here, yearly extra 33. It'll give you a 33% extra discount on any yearly plan. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you want to know how to make a one-page SEO powerhouse.